Hello there, Penguins Penguin on Matchup, and welcome to a new series here on Invisible Corporations. Welcome to Act 1 Roundup. So if you remember, a fair few years ago now, we had a series on the channel. We only did a few episodes where I went through the Formula Un, which is one of my favourite things. Now, I haven't quite worked out the scheduling of this series and all that jazz, but I am going to give you a predictions before pre-season testing. I'll do another one after pre-season testing so I can update my predictions and we can react to my predictions and we can potentially have a little bit of a laugh at them. So, we'll start off. I think 2023 will be a hell of a lot of a close title fight in 2022. 2022, Verstappen ran away with it. He ran away like Usain Bolt. He left it behind. It was boring. I think Mercedes will be back up there. I think Ferrari are going to be better than they were, hopefully. I really want to see Ferrari do better for Charles Leclerc. I think there'll be a lot of drama between teammates, potentially a bit of Lewis Hamilton, George Russell tension. We know, never know. I think there'll be a bit of Max Verstappen, Checo Perez drama. Um, being honest, I think we'll see a little bit of that carry on. And I think that will dampen Red Bull. Dampen a bit. And I think they won't win the Constructors Championship because I think they'll prioritise Max. My heart tells me I want Hamilton to win the title. But I think it'll be Verstappen, painfully. However, I do think with their strong driving pairing, I think Mercedes will win the Constructors. So Max to win the Drivers, Mercedes to win the Constructors. I think the Driver of the Year, ooh. Oh, that's a tough one. I think Charles Leclerc will outperform his car and be consistent, but do I think he will get... I think he'll be up there. I don't think he'll win the title, though. I think it could very well be... Just reading my notes there, just to make sure I'm reading it right. I think it'll be Lando Norris. I think we'll see him back up there. They'll claim their best of the rest. And I really hope... Hey, it's a Brit. British person myself, I want to see Lando do well. But I think, yeah, I think McLaren will be back up there. I think my surprise of the year will be Piastri being really up there. Being really up there, taking it to Lando every race. But he's a rookie. How will, Lando, how, how will Oscar do? How will he react to this pressure around him? You know, we don't know. You know, it's been so much drama of the summer, you know. Without my permission, that tweet is hung over. Alpine won't want him to do well, and a lot of Aussies I don't think want him to do well because Ricardo's out of the seat. Speaking of Ricardo, I think he will replace Checo Perez at the end of the season. Watch this space. Um, but yeah, I think a hot take of mine is I think De Vries is going to beat Sonoda. We saw so much and so little from Nick De Vries. And that is so exciting. But he's 27. We're not going to see a long career like we have with Lewis Hamilton, like we're going to see with Verstappen. You know, he's not going to have a long career. But I'm expecting loads from Nick DeVries. In a team I'm worried about Williams, I think they're going to really struggle again. You know, they've struggled for so many years from such a thin budget. Even with a budget cap, they struggle. I think it's going to be another long year for them. With Haas, I think, you know, do I want him to do well? No, I like to make Schumacher. Fuck you, Haas. But I would like to see Hulkenberg do well. And do I think he'll do well? No. <laughs> I think that Haas car won't be good. It's not been good for years. It was better last year. It was still wasn't good. I think K-Mag will be another big surprise. I think he'll continue to do well. I think Albon will do well. I think Logan Sargent may struggle in that car because... Not being funny, but Albon massively outperformed that car last year. And obviously, go TV, 07's in chat. Aston Martin got Fernando Alonso instead of Sebastian Vettel, and look, I'm excited. But Christ, I'm going to miss Seb. Another prediction, I think Seb will be announced for Audi in a couple of months, in, towards the end of the year, for Audi's first year. Um, But yeah, I think... 
overall max drivers Lewis, no, not Lewis, Mercedes constructors drive Revere Lando okay they're my three big ones um, keep in the description below there is our link to our Twitter account and our Discord account and our Discord channel um, go in there for the updates because obviously I don't know how this is going to work yet and all that jazz so thank you so much for watching my name is Rob and I'll see you all next time but till then toodaloo sure you